so hello and welcome all of you guys uh, so today in this video we will see that how to deploy a Next.js application on Cloudflare Worker why I am saying this because I already shown how to deploy on Cloudflare pages now in this video I will show that how to deploy on Cloudflare Workers uh, see why Cloudflare first let's see that why Worker from pages because uh, worker supports a lot of new features that pages don't have you can see it here just go to the compute and worker then worker and pages then create new page and now let's close this now you can see unlimited site unlimited static request unlimited bandwidth for static requests and unlimited bandwidth it's really free if you compare it to versal or netlify it supports a lot of features uh, one thing is that it runs on the edge runtime so that is good also for the speed of the website but sometimes edge does not support the core node modules but the worker supports a lot of the modules and this is the way that you that how you create on pages okay uh, on cloudflare pages the next step i have shown this in your previous video but now you can deploy it on uh, workers using open next this slash cloudflare and this is the website you just have to change worker here let's don't just use this and you can also install next on pages on your existing Next.js app and it's quite easy and you can also do bindings like getting cloudflare context and bind your kv or d1 sqlite database it's so easy uh, i will also provide some uh, boiler plates of integrated with next auth or js library and d1 database in your next year's app or to do application you can modify it according to you uh, see the links in the description the uh, github link firstly let's see how, that how to deploy it so for that let's open this new project and you have to write npm create cloud layer you can also write npm npx or like npx create cloud flare it's basically both have the same command this is npm feature you have to say yes you can also add at the rate latest at last and it will check for the new version you have to install in this folder so you write dot to spread out the application in current folder and you have to go to framework started using the arrow key then go to the next chess app and it will automatically deploy uh, use that type like next chess latest version and choose the things that you want like i don't want typescript because of the typescript gymnastic i don't want that in my codes anytime now it will take some time to download so you can also run this the it's a basic next.js app now but now it will start installing the uh, open next things you can see in the dependency no no pen next no nothing no deploy command or something but you will see after some time it will be edited and for deploying using git you can also connect it to uh, in repo ok or you can also select template from here like uh, the most useful for you be will be a google drive interface this is also good and i'm searching for the d1 database 
it is open auth yeah open auth server so you can create a <coughs> centralized authentication on a website for your application using this so there are many templates can deploy from templates or start as from scratch or import a repo i am showing the you the fourth way see it's edited now but you can directly deploy from here from the code base so for that yes i want to use the git system and if you want to deploy Select yes, I am saying no it, it here. Let's run it now. If you have any question from this that how to integrate this, how to integrate the one database in it, how to integrate next auth, stack auth, uh, I will show you. Okay, so this is a running Nextjs app. And okay, so now let's deploy it. Here, yeah, let's create an API endpoint also. Oh no, it supports the server side. Just believe me. And write npm run deploy. And it ran the open next commands first, then open next triggered next chess build. And it's building now. There are so many linting in here errors, but that doesn't matter. World building C, building middleware open air, generating bundles, and at the end, it will be also uh, all the code will be converted into one single JavaScript file. You will see because Cloudflare supports like that. Let's open this and let's see this see it's deployed now you can see this this is working and now you can see the worker.js it's a huge long javascript file and the size limit is 3 mb or 4 mb the FS module and other stuff are also here. Path OS built in modules of Node.js is built in. There are so many JavaScript. Let's close this. So it does not support the built in module so many times. Let's close this. <laughs> So this was the video that how you deploy your uh, Next.js full stack application on uh, Cloudflare workers using open next uh, open source library uh, with bindings with cachings if you want to show me then it is it is very easy you just have to copy paste these things it's very easy believe me if you need a video on it just comment down so thanks for having the video watching the video and see it's something remaining so it's a, has a binding assets that will contain the uh, files that, that we put in public folder like logo svg etc but all the javascript thing will be converted into one file thanks for watching the video see you soon if you want videos in depth and how things work just comment it out i will create a video maybe